he's got a point now, hasn't he? He's got, obviously, he's got a point. But the thing is, it's all right for him because he's a multi-millionaire Hollywood actor, and he's a great actor as well. He does Shakespeare and everything. A lot of dwarves in entertainment aren't that great. If we no, some of them are fucking. They're props, right? <laughs> no, let's be. They're, they're lucky to be fired from a fucking cannon, right? <laughs> and so. Dancing around Snow White for three weeks of the year, that is their, like, holy grail, and he's gonna fuck it for them. If he takes that, what can they do? And he's not saying you should do Snow White and the Seven Dwarves with normal size actors. You can't do that either. You get in trouble for that in Hollywood, or you can't take a dwarf's job or a disabled person's job. Like, Eddie Redmayne got in trouble when he played Stephen Hawking in the biopic, the life story of Stephen Hawking, right? Won an Oscar for it, and that's when the backlash started. People going, no, it should be played by a real disabled creature, all this... Right? And, uh, uh, and they're going, the actor should have the same disability as the person they're portraying. But it was the life story of Stephen Hawking, right? So for the first part of the film, the cunt could walk, right? <laughs> so I put it to you, what is easier? Getting an actor who can walk, <laughs> pretend he can't, for the last bit of the film, or get an actor who can't walk, <laughs> pretend he can for the first bit. How would that even fucking work? Puppetry, think. <laughs> you can't always find an actor with the same disability as the person they're portraying. They're fucking actors. What if they did a biopic of Helen Keller, the deaf, dumb and blind girl, 